have right here? I have an 06 Chevy Avalanche pickup. And uh, what size engine is it? It's a V8. I don't know. 5.3 liter? I think so. I, I think that's what yeah, it is. 5.3. Uh -huh. uh, EPA says it should get 17 miles per gallon. Okay, and we've got a hydrogen fuel cell on it now, but we want to do a different cell than anybody's doing uh, on YouTube. So let's just see what we have on Joe's vehicle. Over here, most fuel cells are a jar of water or a dry cell, but we've tried a motorcycle battery. Now we've got a little motorcycle battery. It's only a 12 in 9-3B, which is 9 amps, and we haven't modified it. We've just taken each one of the plugs out and put straight ammonia in it and then put the caps back on. Now, the vent tube hose, we've connected to the bubbler tube jar, so we have a bubbler jar. And as the uh, as bubbles come out of the battery, they go into the bubbler jar, and then they follow up the hose all the way to the air box and it's sucked in through uh, control on your throttle body. Now the problem with the battery is it actually builds up uh, current in the battery even with ammonia and it will run away with itself. So we tried this before and it worked great until it just started charging up and it just ran away with itself and burned up the battery. So we've come up with a different idea. What about taking the PWM and turning that down with the amp gauge and doing one or two amps. What will it do? And so we've got a PWM on the dash that we turned down and we ran it two amps and we've run a hundred miles today on this vehicle. So we see now with our box we have a, a light that you can shut off or turn on and we have about two amps. Now we can raise that on up but this little battery won't take much or it will burn up the battery. So we need only a 1 to 2 amps on it, and we've tried it 2 amps for 100 miles, and our mileage was what? Well, Joe, what did you get out of the mileage on this? Our last test was 23.8 miles to the gallon. 23.8 miles per gallon, and that's over 17 miles per gallon, which is the uh, high, EPA highway estimate. So our percent increase is 40%. Isn't that great? And we're talking that this is not much money. This is a $30 battery or $40 battery with uh, ammonia in it. And um, we haven't added any other additives than the ammonia and just run down the road. So for just a few dollars, you can increase your fuel mileage using hydrogen. Now, this hydrogen is not H2O. H2O is uh, water, which means HHO in, in the gas form. But uh, we have HHHN, which is three H's because it's ammonia and not one nitrogen. And it won't freeze at 32 degrees and it won't explode on you like HHO will. So it's much safer. Plus, if you get it on your skin, it doesn't bother you. You might slightly itch. You put a little bit of water on it and it's fine. But uh, this is working. We're excited. We don't know how long this battery will last. Uh, but if we can keep the amps down to two amps, we think it'll do well. And um, how much better mileage will we get if we take a bigger battery? Because this is a very tiny little motorcycle battery. And if we get a larger motorcycle battery, uh, we may even get um, 40, 50 miles per gallon, which we believe uh, we can do. Thank you very much. Appreciate you.